More than 99% of all organisms that have ever existed on this planet are now extinct. Most of these organisms were wiped out by mass extinction events, such as the one that wiped out most non-avian dinosaurs. Some scientists argue that we are currently going through a sixth mass extinction event, and this is all because of the impacts that we humans are having on the planet. Humans have driven up the rate of biological extinction, and it's currently several hundred times higher than historical rates. Humans can cause extinctions in a very direct way by overhunting or overharvesting, and we can also cause extinctions in a less direct way by introducing non-native species into ecosystems where they don't belong, and by destroying habitats and polluting. When a very iconic animal goes extinct it can be a very tragic and depressing event, but in the case of some more recent extinctions, we do have something to remember them by. Luckily for some of the animals that have gone extinct in the past century, there is still some footage that remains. This footage can be both haunting and fascinating, and I will be featuring just a few clips in this video, as I will be going through 5 extinct animals that we still have footage of. For our first extinct animal we will be heading over to China, as we have the Baiji Dolphin. This dolphin was a species of freshwater dolphin, and it was native to the Yangtze River system in China. It has a very similar body shape and appearance to the Amazon River Dolphin, but it was slightly smaller. Like other river dolphins, its diet mainly if not entirely consisted of fish, and as the Yangtze tends to be quite murky, it mostly relied on echolocation to find food. The Baiji Dolphin is currently listed as critically endangered, possibly extinct, as it hasn't been seen in over 40 years. As you might be able to guess, this dolphin's decline was all down to humans, and there really are quite a few factors that led to its extinction. During the Great Leap Forward movement it was hunted for its flesh and its skin, and because of this it soon became scarce. It would also often get tangled in fishing gear, and many were lost due to collisions with boats and ships. If these factors weren't enough, there was one more that would wipe out these dolphins, and that's China's obsession with building dams. Although hydroelectric dams seem like a very clean source of energy, they can completely wipe out large river dwelling species. If migratory species are not able to easily swim up and down a river, it can affect the way that they breed and find food. This is exactly the reason why the Chinese paddlefish went extinct, and it also led to the extinction of the Baiji too. Even though this dolphin is gone, we still have some very grainy footage, and it really is a shame that we're responsible for its extinction. Before our next animal we will be heading over to North America, as we have the heath hen. The heath hen wasn't a species of bird, but instead it was a subspecies of the greater prairie chicken. It was once found from New Hampshire to Virginia, but today it has completely disappeared. It was once found in the heathland barrens of coastal North America, and they were extremely common in their habitats during colonial times. It's speculated that the first Thanksgiving dinner featured heath hens and not wild turkeys, but by the late 18th century, the heath hen had a reputation of being a poor man's food. Like many other animals of its time in North America, its population declined rapidly due to hunting pressure. They were hunted relentlessly for sport and food, and they also had to deal with introduced diseases and predators. By the late 19th century there were only around 70 left, and they were declared extinct in 1932. Luckily we still have some black and white footage of them. And as they were a subspecies, there are still plenty of birds alive today that look completely like them. Before our next species we will be heading over to Costa Rica, as we have the Golden Toad. This toad was once found in a high altitude region of Costa Rica, and it was endemic to a small area of cloud forest. It's commonly considered the poster child of the amphibian decline crisis, and this crisis is still going on today. Since the 1980s, amphibian numbers have been declining at an astonishing rate, and this is mostly due down to habitat loss, pollution, pesticide use, and citrid fungus. When this fungus infects amphibians it can cause mass mortalities, and there's little that can be done to stop it. It's unknown exactly what caused the extinction of the golden toad, but there are a few leading theories. It's thought that the fungus could have played a part, but it also suffered declines due to airborne pollution and global warming. As it was only found in such a small area it was very vulnerable to extinction, as it could have only taken one disease to wipe it out. This toad was first described in 1966, and it was declared extinct only 23 years later in 1989. 
This just shows us how rapid the golden toad's disappearance was. And today, unfortunately, many other amphibians are suffering the same fate. Before our next species, we can head over to the southern United States and Cuba, as we have the ivory-billed woodpecker. Now this woodpecker is one of the most famous species of woodpecker in the world, and it's still debated whether it's actually extinct. The IUCN has it listed as critically endangered, but other sources have it listed as extinct. The ivory-billed woodpecker was a very iconic species, and it looks very similar in appearance to other woodpeckers, and some of these other woodpeckers are also extinct. The ivory-billed woodpecker was one of the largest woodpeckers in the world, but as I've covered in a very recent video, the species of woodpecker that's thought to be the largest woodpecker in the world is also thought to be extinct. This bird mostly fed on beetles, nuts and fruits, but it didn't have the best relationship with humans. They were hunted for their body parts and their meat, and they were also shot because of logging interests. This logging activity destroyed their habitat and destroyed their nests, and the last accepted sighting of this bird was in 1987. Since then, there have been lots of false sightings, and this is because, as I've already covered, they do look very similar to other species. It's thought that there still could be a small population living in the wilder parts of Cuba, but for now, this is still unproven. For our final species, we will be heading over to Australia, as we have the thylacine. Now, the thylacine or Tasmanian tiger is probably the best example of an extinct animal that we still have footage of, and it's possibly the most tragic extinction of the past century. One of the factors that makes the thylacine's extinction so upsetting is the fact that it was so unique. It was a carnivorous marsupial, and it had some very iconic markings. The thylacine was the last remaining member of its family, but it was in the same order as many other Australian creatures, such as the quolls, dunnarts, numbat, and Tasmanian devil. The thylacine mostly preyed on other marsupials such as kangaroos and wallabies, but they did also target birds and small rodents. The last known living individual died in a zoo in Australia in 1936, and since then many people around the world have become obsessed with trying to find out if there are still thylacine out there. There were quite a few factors behind the thylacine's decline, as it was affected by the introduction of predators such as dingoes, foxes and cats, and it was also hunted directly by humans because it preyed on livestock. Unfortunately, the thylacine is just one of many native Australian creatures that have gone extinct, and the majority of these animals have gone extinct due to human pressures and invasive species. We are lucky to still have footage of this beautiful creature, and it should go down as a warning that we need to care more about the planet and the animals that we share the planet with. If you think you know of any other animals that could have made it on this list, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.